This is an arthroscopic view of a normal right shoulder. The patient is laying on their left side and we're visualizing from the posterior aspect of the shoulder in the back. Here's the humeral head sitting in the glenoid socket. As we sweep the arthroscope posteriorly, we can see the posterior labrum along the rim of the glenoid. The capsular ligaments attached to the labrum. As we bring the arthroscope superiorly or towards the top of the shoulder, we see the rotator cuff tendons as they attach to the humeral head. As we swing the arthroscope more anteriorly, we see additional rotator cuff tendons. Dropping the arthroscope down a little bit, we see the biceps tendon as it attaches to the superior labrum at the top of the glenoid. And then visualizing more anteriorly or in the front of the shoulder joint, we see the subscapularis tendon, which is the fourth of the four rotator cuff tendons. Overlying it are the middle glenohumeral ligament and the inferior glenohumeral ligament, what we call the anterior capsular ligaments as they insert into the anterior labrum. Then at the very bottom of the shoulder joint is the inferior pouch or inferior capsule.